Happy Sabbath. This Sabbath is so different. In our family, we have Damien's birthday, and this morning we have Zoom with them. You see, we were asking him, Damien, what do you want? Nothing. You see, this uh, guy is different. Nothing. Nothing needed in his life. Everything provided. I remember when we were still small, we never celebrate birthday, we never, you know, having a gift, present, something like that. But this time, uh, people expecting gift, yeah. When your birthday is coming, we really want to be celebrated, we really want to go to the restaurant. Unfortunately, right now, uh, nobody can go to the restaurant because of the lockdown, yeah. We should stay home. Okay, I like to uh, share you about uh, uh, experience of Hannah. Yeah, when he was so, when she was very sad because you know she has no child at the time, and then uh, any uh, you know the competitor. Yeah, he, she has a competitor, the second wife. She uh, she got. A, child, children, and and Hannah was so very sad. He was so very um, sad every time, every once a year they go to Jerusalem to pray. And when we when we open the Bible in First Samuel one verse twenty seven, uh, it says that Hannah was so very upset, very unhappy because of the situation she cannot bear a child yeah many people right now when they are expecting child and they then they don't have any child yet ah just go sometimes to uh, Singapore because there is a good treatment but at the time nothing uh, treatment like now we have in the modern time so she just prayed she prayed he read it in first Samuel 1 verse 27 let's read it for this child I pray and the Lord has granted so she prayed pray and pray without ceasing and God the story about Hannah. The, the story said that he she, she was a very um, let's say the husband said like this what seemed best to you wait until you have win him only let the Lord establish his word then the woman stay and nurse her son until she had warned him and then she she has a baby boy like Damien now a baby boy yeah and then you can imagine after she got one baby she gave it to the Lord because she promised that when she has boy, a baby boy she will give it to the Lord and she fulfilled what she has promised to the, to the prophet Eli, Eli, Eli. So the story is reminding me about the best gift ever that we can give to the Lord. You see, many times if we uh, have something to celebrate, yeah, we uh, we really want to give something to someone that celebrating birthday like this morning they asked him and what do you want we want to give you uh, of course not to give a big 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 one at least a special gift but this Hannah gave the son the only son gift to serve the Lord with uh, prophet Eli Abiel so the Lord is really blessed Hannah and finally see see she granted more child yeah according to the bible that lord the god uh, god gave 
her more children. And this is the prayer of Anna. She said, My heart rejoices in the Lord. No one in the holy like the Lord. So he, she praised the Lord. She uh, really give what is best for the Lord. She said that uh, the Lord is the pillar, or the Lord is the pillar. <coughs> And he gave all what the need, the important needed in her life. See, so the story about Hannah and the son of Hannah is Samuel is giving us the information, the lesson to be learned. That if we have something blessing, we should return it to God, give it to the Lord for our uh, thanksgiving. In the situation like that, uh, Ephesians 5 verse 20 also reminded us that read in Ephesians 5 verse 20, the said like this. God. <clears throat> Let me read it. Ephesians 5 verse 20. But you have not to learn about Ephesians 5. Sorry, sorry. Ephesians 5, 13. There is that. Giving thanks always for all things to God the Father. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we should give thanks in everything that He has done for us. Like this morning, Damien, you should say, Thank you, Lord. For the best gift, the life, you see, the life that God has given him, another one year, satu tahun, yeah. So many more story in the Bible, the gift given to those who are asking God. I ask God now, oh God, my my desire, because we are getting old. We said in our in my prayer. Lord, please give us good health so we can see our grandchildren someday, maybe working and married. That is our greatest desire in our life. Yeah? Many of us has their own desire in their life. So if we have, if God has fulfilled the, the desire that we have asked Him, we should be thankful. Be bersyukur, berterima kasih. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one more text that I would like to share is found in Psalm 34, verse 2. You see, Psalm is uh, written by David. In every, I like the Psalm because in every verse, always say, praise God. Thank God. Many things we should thank God all of the blessing that it's given us. So many ways. Even right now we experience the difficulties but He always there for us. Psalm 34 verse 2 My soul shall make it boost in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Be rejoiced. Be happy. Be thankful for the best thing that he has done for us. Especially this month is May 2020. Many if in my family celebrating birthday. Yeah. This Sabbath is Damien. Next Sabbath, Oma Rerel, 90 years. After that, Oma Geni. After that, Juna. And the last, Javen. Javen already asking a gift right now. Oh, my Opa, give me this, this, this. You see, that is a gift that we will share. We will share the blessing that God has given us. May God bless you. Be thankful. Bersyukur. Pada Tuhan. Amen. Hallelujah. Puji Tuhan.